What is going on everyone? Today I have a very special keyboard lighting video for you guys. This video lighting idea came from a comment, a comment made by SS Zomb. He said, could you do a Star Wars themed one like Jedi vs Sith? So I got the idea from this comment and I was just kind of throwing things around um, potential Star Wars items I could put into keyboard lighting. And what I kept coming back to was lightsabers. So basically lightsabers fighting each other. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a clip of what this keyboard lighting video is going to look like. And it's also the same clip I played in the very beginning of this video. You can go to Instagram right now and search Unreal Hero and you'll find me in there at Unreal Hero underscore. Hit that follow button. I'm going to start uploading teaser clips the night before I release my videos. So if you guys want to jump start to see what video lighting tutorial I'm going to be making, that would be a good place to look. So go to Instagram, hit that follow button, and you guys will get a sneak peek. There is going to be a Dropbox link in the description below where you can download this design for Razer Synapse 3. If you want to be able to change the color of the lightsabers though, you might want to keep watching this video. I'm going to show you guys how to change the colors and everything else you can do to customize this design. But we're going to get right into the video. This design is called Fighting Lightsabers. All right, guys, fighting lightsabers. Let's go ahead and click these three dots and change it to a static effect. And we're going to select all of our keys and just hit that delete button to clear out everything. Hit save. Now we're starting with a blank slate. So what we're going to do with this effect layer is we're going to make one of the lightsabers. It's not going to be any animation effect. It's just going to be what the lightsaber is going to look like after it's done being swung. I'm going to go ahead and start with the red one and I'm just going to highlight this alt key on the left side and I'm going to color it white. Once we've changed it to white, go ahead and hit that save button. Next we're just going to make the main color of the first lightsaber. So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select a few keys here just like that. So this is going to be my first lightsaber and I'm going to color this one red. You guys can make this any color you want. I'm actually going to go back into the F10 key here and make that one red as well just to make it a little bit more of a presence on the keyboard. Once we have our first lightsaber done, go ahead and go to the bottom left and click that static layer again. And we're just going to create the second lightsaber right now. Before I go on, I'm going to right click on this first layer that we made and rename it to lightsaber one. And likewise with the new layer, I'm going to rename that to lightsaber two. Make sure you click on lightsaber number two here and we're just going to go ahead and start highlighting that one. So starting with the right control, I'm going to color this one white. And once again, you can make the handle whatever color you want. Once you change the color, hit save. And now I'm just going to start creating the lightsaber color of my second one. So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to just start selecting the shape of my new lightsaber. I'm just going to select a few keys here, just like this. Basically just like that. And I'm going to color this one green. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So there we have our two lightsabers without any animation, no swing effect or anything. So what we're going to do now is start working on the swing animation for our very first lightsaber. Go ahead and go down to the bottom left here and click on wheel, the add the wheel effect. Make sure you grab this wheel layer and drag it down underneath lightsaber two. Because the first lightsaber goes underneath the second one, we wanna make sure that anything dealing with the first lightsaber effects is has a less priority than the one on top of it. Go ahead and right click on this new layer and just rename it to like swing one or something along those lines. Click save. So before we start selecting our keys, there's a little rotating circle you see right up here. You see that? We need to grab this and this is going to be the center of our wheel effect. So we want to make sure that wheel is pivoting at the base or the handle of our lightsaber. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this wheel 
somewhere right around right here, right between the control and the start button, right below it. Go ahead and hold control and we're gonna start selecting some keys. I'm gonna select these bottom two. I'm gonna skip these two just cause I'm gonna make them a white swing effect. Heading to the next line, I'm gonna select the whole line including my red lightsaber color. And I'm just gonna go up the line and I'm just gonna choose whatever keys that I want to have that swing animation. Click this color drop down and I'm gonna choose a three tone pattern just like this and first thing you're gonna do is click on the center node and you're gonna press this plus symbol right here that's gonna add a new node to the right of the node that you were selected on go ahead and click on this new node and drag it all the way back up against the middle one and we're gonna change the color of this new one to invisible I'm not sure why but it moved the center of my pivot point up to the corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and bring it back down to that same spot. Go ahead and click back on your color drop down. We're gonna make our original middle node black and we're gonna make our far right node whatever color you chose for the lightsaber. Mine is red, I'm gonna stick with red. Just like that, I'm gonna go ahead and click out of there. I'm gonna change my speed up to 180 just to make it a little bit quicker everything else looks good I'm gonna hit save so we're gonna switch over and start working on the second lightsaber I'm gonna unhide that effect and I'm gonna hide my first lightsaber with the swing effect that way it's not confusing while you're designing in the bottom left go ahead and add a new wheel effect right click that layer and rename that to swing to hit save before we start selecting keys move your pivot point somewhere towards the base of your lightsaber down here. I'm going to put mine right there. Hit save. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and start selecting my light keys. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to start selecting some of my keys here. I'm going to select these ones, these ones, including the green one. And I'm just going to keep going like this. Those are the keys I'm going to choose from my swing animation. Go ahead and click that color drop down and do the same thing. We're gonna choose a three tone, click that middle node, add a new node, and drag that over. Now, before we change any colors on our gradient here, go ahead and click out of this, and we're gonna change the direction going to the left because we want it swinging the other way. Change our speed up to 180. Now, click back on your color drop down here. And because it's going to the left, you're gonna reverse your colors over here on the right. So instead of making this new node invisible, we're gonna make this our green color or whatever your lightsaber color is. Go ahead and click on that right node and we're gonna make that one invisible. The original middle node here, we're gonna turn to black and our left side's still going to be black. That all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Unhide our first swing. Real quick, I forgot to add in my handle animation for the lightsabers. Go ahead and click on lightsaber swing one. And we're just gonna click on one of our red keys and we're gonna copy it. And we're gonna select these keys down here, your start and alt key, and paste it into those keys. Go ahead and click that color drop down. Change your red color to a white color, just like that, and hit save. So for some reason, there's another bug. It's changed my Z key to a white. To fix this, just click on a different red key, control C and control V it on the Z and hit save. I'm gonna do the same thing for my green lightsaber. Go ahead and click that swing number two, hit control C to copy our effect. And we're gonna paste that into the left arrow and the control key. Once we've pasted it, go ahead and click that color drop down, change the color from green to white, and hit save. Once again, the bug was affecting it again. Gonna click on a green key, copy it, and paste it on the enter key to get rid of that white. Hit save. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you guys get notifications the minute I upload my next video. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want a sneak peek at upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.